What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. I think we can all agree that Adobe has been slacking in the past few years. Now, while they may have been super awesome for the creative community, pumped out amazing products in the past, hands down, everyone would have recommended something like Adobe After Effects or Photoshop to create something impressive. A lot of other competitors have jumped into the space and really innovated some of the things that Adobe definitely lacks. So today we're gonna be talking about why Adobe sucks and some of the alternatives that are completely crushing it when it comes to design software. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too, Art. Right, let's go. First up for graphic design, I think we can all agree that Photoshop has been definitely slugging behind the competition when it comes to doing very professional graphics for something like flyers or postcards. Photoshop may not actually be the best anymore and same with Illustrator. Sure, it'll give you print ready quality, but when it comes to some of the free form and needs of today's landscape, which is having much more content than before, it definitely becomes cumbersome and the way that it handles its memory is very much outdated. For example, if you wanted to have a design built online, ready to go almost instantly, there's tools like Canva, which can give you some pretty awesome looking templates, easy to modify. It'll have you up and running in no time at all. One of the cool things about it is that you also don't need a souped out computer with a graphics card and a lot of RAM because everything is running online. So you can pretty much work on anything, whether that's on your phone or on a laptop, anywhere. And that's a huge, huge benefit that Photoshop users can not enjoy. Now if you're thinking, Nate, but Photoshop is awesome for photo manipulation. There's a lot of really cool things that you can do such as masking out people or objects. Well, there's actually a lot of really great tools as well that's built online. So let's say you want to adapt to something from a photo, change a certain element of it, or even remove a person from a background. You can do that using something like Runway ML, which has a bunch of AI based tools. So you can take it a step further and do something that Photoshop can't, which is I can highlight a certain element of my face, such as my eyes, and type in something like space goggles, and it'll instantly use AI to inpaint in whatever I wanted and described it from that text prompt. This is just next level. Photoshop does not have anything nearly as awesome as this. With other tools like Dolly making their way into the creative space, I can only see Photoshop getting pushed more into the background. Next, let's talk about Adobe After Effects. For a while, it was one of the only ways that you could create impressive looking motion graphics and, and visual effects with a degree of flexibility and really awesome tools. But nowadays, I actually recommend users to check out something like Runway ML for also doing visual effects because the AI-based tools are completely next level. They shave off hours of time so that you're not plunking through a menu of finding different ways to mask out an object and feather it and rotoscope it out. Instead, it can quickly scribble over whatever you want to remove and have their in-painting feature remove that, fill in the background for you, or you can have it make a transition transparent video out of something that you've also defined. There's super easy motion tracking setup, of course, ways to color correct and add different effects to your footage. And all of this again is running in the browser. So you don't need a souped up computer and have to wait an insane amount of time for things to render. Now for generic motion graphics, I would say After Effects still does have the advantage because for someone who wants a high degree of flexibility, I don't really see any alternatives coming into the space. Everything else pretty much templated out. So if you're creating something like ads, you might be able to get away with some of these features. However, if you're creating something as specific as the logo animation that we use here, I would say After Effects is still there, but that is pretty sad seeing that After Effects has been in development for over two decades now and really has not gotten to anything that helps you make this process a little bit easier. Instead, Adobe has almost completely been hands off and let the development community create their own plugins and add-ons that make some of the things that I think Adobe should have just introduced from the beginning, such as having easier ways to add in animation curves, which Mount MoGraph's motion allows you to do, or even presets and templates for animations. Those are still things that are not that well defined in Adobe yet. Another really crazy thing is that other softwares have search boxes, such as Fusion 360 has it where you can type in S and it'll pop up this little box that'll give you access to all the different tools and features. And in order to get something similar in Adobe's After Effects, you have to download a plugin created by Video Co pilot called FX console that'll give you the same feature. It makes me wonder where is all that money going towards if it's not going towards developing After Effects to have really useful tools for the community. Maybe it's going to paying for Kevin Hart to talk at Adobe Max, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> Y'all wait till you see the rest. <laughs> it's like, 
It's like porn to y'all. It's like. <laughs> uh, oh. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep it going. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Nowadays, it definitely does seem like most of the money is going towards marketing rather than going towards the software development itself. I got some gifts for you so you can go ahead and take a seat. Ooh. You'll notice we mentioned Grand Coromino earlier and here we have for you, from us to you, a bottle of Grand Coromino tequila for the man himself. And to go with it, we have gifted you, this is actually a flask. It looks like a little like uh, gaming cartridge, but it's a flask and you can open it oh, to enjoy your Grand Coromino. This just makes me look like I got a, <laughs> this makes me look like I'm, I'm sucking on a cartridge. Now, aside from the software, let's talk about the cost because I think just about anyone can agree, Adobe has gotten incredibly expensive compared to their competitors. For example, you can get a Canva runway or just about any other editing software subscription for significantly less than Adobe's pricing. Now, I know if you're a student, you're gonna get an awesome deal of about $19.99 a month, but for just about anyone else, if you want the whole suite, which most people never use the whole suite, they just use about maybe three or so programs. Three or so programs is gonna cost you roughly 30 to 40 or 50 dollars a month and the whole suite is going to cost you 54 dollars a month which uh, yeah it, it's it's pretty crazy because not that much is getting changed from release after release with these products i almost wish that they just kept one time product fee and didn't come out with all of these mini releases that end up breaking certain things another huge issue and probably one of the biggest issues that i think everyone has with adobe right now are their updates so not only does adobe have frequent updates they have updates that don't actually fix the software. In many cases, it ends up breaking the software, leading me to keep using the older version of Premiere Pro just because I know all of the little kinks and things that are wrong with it and the workarounds for that. Whereas whenever I update, I tend to find something else that's broken and I have to spend hours looking online only to find other people have the same issue and the Adobe team has no solution for it. And this goes across the board for just about all of their products, whether that's After Effects, Premiere Pro, Photoshop, Photoshop, Illustrator, and this is extremely, extremely frustrating because they charge us monthly and argue that there's frequent updates. And then when we get these updates, the software ends up breaking even more than when we first got it. So mind boggling that this is going on and extremely frustrating. So I hope Adobe pays attention, looks at the competitors, sees what's going on, actually listens to the people that are posting on the support page, asking for a working software and make the changes accordingly because otherwise I'm gonna be looking for alternative solutions to create some of the things that I want so that I can avoid Adobe as much as possible. For the time being though, After Effects, I gotta say, I keep using it, I'm used to it, I'm old school enough like that. And I will still use Adobe Photoshop for making mockups, at least the ones that I can't find already easy to generate online. I still use Illustrator for creating vector graphics because I don't think there's anything that compares to it just yet. But for video editing, I've already checked out something like Descript, which will help me edit videos in a more intuitive way. It auto transcribes the videos, lets me do a lot of instant cuts pretty easily. And then also Runway ML lets me do VFX level work relatively quickly. Even though I still have to plug it into After Effects at the end of the day, I'm using After Effects much less than I would have thanks to these alternative options. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if this is your first time on the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. So I wanna know from you guys, what do you think about Adobe? And have you found anything that is comparable alternative that we should check out? Leave a comment down below, let us know. I'm gonna enjoy reading it and I'm sure others in the community are gonna enjoy it as well. If you guys wanna talk to more creatives, share some of your work and see what's going on so check out our discord we're gonna have a link down in that description anyways thanks for watching i hope to catch you in the next one peace